Hi, my name is Rosita and I work for the Faculty of Graduate and Postdoctoral Affairs at Carleton University. Well, if you are a grad student, it almost occurred to you to write a couple of technical documents including conference papers, journal papers, reports, a proposal or a thesis. These documents are all formal scholarly writings in which certain rules should be followed. In this video, I'll try to summarize some of these key rules. The first one is connectivity. Any technical document you write must have a smooth flow of ideas. To write such a document, each paragraph has to connect in a way to the previous paragraph to make a smooth transition from one to another. Also, each paragraph should contain one idea. Well, if your paragraph is then too long, it is most likely contains more than one idea. So break it into shorter paragraphs. There is a rule of thumb that in each paragraph, the first sentence introduces the idea, the middle sentences describe and develop the idea, and the last sentence summarizes it. Keep in mind that every sentence in a paragraph should be connected to the previous one with a visible connection, like a common word. For example, if you are talking about algorithm X, the next sentence can start with this algorithm. Here, algorithm is the connection word. The next key rule is about the tense and tone. About tense, it's pretty common to write your thesis in either simple past or simple present tenses. There may be a preference within your discipline, so be sure to consult with your supervisor. But whatever you choose, stick to that throughout your thesis. In some parts, like future works, you may also use other tenses, like future tense. About tone, writing in active tone is preferred to writing in passive tone, because it makes your text more engaging. For example, this video gives you some general tips, is preferred to some general tips are given to you by this video. So just use passive tone sentences when it's necessary. The important thing is that whatever you choose, try to be consistent within a paragraph. The next key rule is the pronouns. Using active tone doesn't necessarily imply the use of personal pronouns, like I and V. Indeed, it's recommended to not use the personal pronouns as much as you can. However, there is, an, uh, there is an exception. In the introduction and conclusion parts, using the personal pronoun V is appropriate. Keep in mind that you shouldn't use the, personal, the second pronoun you at all in your thesis. Now I provide some common mistakes that usually students make. The first thing to avoid is the use of naked this. I mean a this without a noun after it. Then the question is, this what? For example, this algorithm shows a good performance. No, uh, not this shows a good performance. If it is obvious for you, then it may not be obvious for the others. Never use words like obviously or clearly, as it can be insult to whom doesn't get that point. Do not use superlatives in claims like the best algorithm or the perfect performance unless if it is clear from the text. Do not make qualitative judgments like good, bad, terrible. Never use phrases like kind of or something like because they are informal and vague. You need to be more precise. Do not use contractions like don't or haven't. In, instead, use them in their complete form, like do not or have not. Never start a sentence with an abbreviation, mathematical symbol or acronyms. For, for example, instead of saying P is the power, you can say let P denotes the power. Try to avoid the use of words like could, would or should as much as you can, since they are not strong enough. There are a couple of tips on the vocabulary used in the technical documents. English may not be your first language. However, it's a very rich language, with a lot of alternatives for each word. It's common to bring these alternatives when you are writing a document. It's always good to use the tizers to find synonyms, but make sure to look up their meanings in dictionary. Keep in mind that it's always better to write short and simple sentences. 
use complete comparative sentence. Like algorithm X is better than algorithm Y. Not only algorithm X is better, better than what? The phrase, the phrase in order to can always be replaced with to. Use absolute time rather than uh, relative ones. Today, last year, next decade, or soon is inappropriate. For example, if you are talking about an article written last year, you can say in 2013. Be careful of using few, most, all, any and every. Each of them has a different meaning and if you use, you use it, you should be able to justify it. Be careful of using uh, adjectives. For example, big or huge can be replaced with large. Wonderful, fantastic or amazing can be replaced with significant. Also, be careful of using very before adjectives. For example, when you use very large, it should be understandable from your text that what, what is large and what is very large. And at the end, be careful of singular and plural words. For example, matrix, appendix, thesis, axis, index, and radius are singular. Whereas matrices, appendices, thesis, axis, indices and radii are the corresponding plural words. The rules provided herein are only a few of many. For more information on these rules, please visit our website. I hope this video helps you in the process of writing your thesis. Thank you.